Hi guys, I am Shahzad and uh, welcome in lecture number 7. Today we are going to discuss about the breadcrumbs. As you know that you have the navigation system in any website. Like uh, if we talk about uh, some websites like machinegrab.pk. So now if we, if we click on the machines. So here as you can see these are the breadcrumbs. So the navigation so these are basically the navigations or in technically uh, these are the breadcrumbs so we can use the breadcrumbs to create the pay, uh, the navigations that uh, where is the user and the previous page and the next page or something like that okay now i'm going to comment this one so you can easily get the code this one. fine and now once again i'm going to create the row don't worry if you are not familiar with the row but for now you have to place your row inside your container and you have to use the column inside your row and you always use the content like h1 h2 like images like paragraph anything in the column we will discuss about the grid systems in our later lectures okay i'm saying column i'm saying it now here I'm going to define the breadcrumbs so basically uh, I'm saying I have an F and now I'm saying Arial level is oh sorry class so, Arial level breadcrumb and now I'm saying I have unordered list and the class for the unordered list breadcrumb and here is the ally and also I'm saying that here home and now the class breadcrumb item and it's active and the area current equals to page now go to your page sorry go to your page refresh the page as you can see this is the current it's showing that this is the current like if you click on the some other page like if you click on the about us section so now as you can see you are currently viewing the about us page so it's active if you right click inspect element so now as you can see this is the active so that's why this is the active and this is a previous page Let's suppose if you have multiple uh, links, like uh, how can you do that? I'm saying this is the home. Copy this one. And now I'm saying this is about or login. And you have to use the anchor. Anchor login. And you have to use the active here because this is the active. Go to the page. Now you have two things. So this is the previous page and this is the active. Let's suppose if you have uh, more than page, like uh, you have in home, you have user and in user, you have uh, like a dashboard so how can you do that so similarly active and aerial page you don't need to use this one so now breadcrumb item breadcrumb item breadcrumb item and this is the active just use the active to active the last one
let's suppose if you need the dividers for your breadcrumbs so how can you use them so you can also use the navigation bar here you can use a style a style and double dash bs and now i'm saying breadcrumb divider colon you have to use the single quotations sorry single quotations and now greater than sign and here so go to your page refresh, refresh the page so now as you can see this is the greater than if you are using the less than then you can also use the less than sign less than or any sign you can use so these are the breadcrumb basically so i i hope you are enjoying this series if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so in the next lecture we are going to cover the buttons so how can you manage your buttons how can you create your buttons how can you manage the background for your buttons and in the next lecture we definitely discuss about the button growth so you can so you guys can easily understand how can you manage or manipulate your button. So thank you for watching.